Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening again. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here at the launch of the Compact 2025, uh, representing the Prime, Min the Prime Minister of Rwanda, who is the member of the Leadership Council. And uh, again, I want to strongly convey my congratulations for, to Iri for championing the leadership for the Compact 2025. Dr. Schengen, thank you again for your persuasive invitation to the government of Rwanda to join the IFPRI's long-standing trilogy to be among the first movers in the Compact 2025, as well as serving on the Leadership Council. Uh, Rwanda has been making what it can do to address the malnutrition and uh, the hunger, but we deal with the different situations. 72% of our population, they are engaged in agriculture sector. These are not conventional farmers. They are small scale holder farmers having less than a half hectare of land, yet they only sit on more than 20% of arable land in Rwanda. So that is presenting a different challenge, but this sector has sustained the food production and has been able to grow most of the time as twice as the population growth. So this has been a big challenge for us. And this explains also the importance of agriculture uh, sector as one of the sector that is implementing inclusive policies that the government of Rwanda has been doing to deal with the issues of hunger and malnutrition. For instance, uh, we are currently implementing the third uh, phase of the strategic plan for agricultural transformation. And uh, under the agriculture and animal resource intensification pillar, the government of Rwanda has and keep has invested and keep investing heavily in soil protection measures as well as irrigation development to mitigate negative effects of soil erosion as well as drought associ associated with the climate change. Uh, since 20, uh, 2007, through the crop intensification program, land consolidation of those small pieces of land, use of fertilizers and improved the seed, coupled with uh, a decentralized extension system through farmers' cooperatives, have led to double, even triple crop production in uh, priority crops. One cow per poor family program that was initiated by His Excellency, the President of Rwanda, has doubled milk production in the country between 2010 and 2015. The school pro uh, feeding programs, especially providing milk to school kids of age between three and nine, are reducing dropouts but also providing required animal proteins to the school kids in the poorest districts. Research to adapt biofortified beans, which are rich in iron and zinc, as well as uh, introducing the orange fresh sweet potatoes are going. The various kind of uh, social protection programs that are allowing poor families to have access to cash to buy foods are being implemented. However, in a recent integrated household survey, which 
show, uh, showed this year that the proportion of people living in poverty in Rwanda has dropped to 39.1% from 44.9%, which was in 2011. The stunting rate in kids has dropped from 44.2% in, uh, in 2010 to 37.9% in 2014, while extreme poverty rates decreased from 24.1 in 2010 to 16.3 in 2014. Uh, those are good progress, but given that Rwanda is a relatively young nation, which we can say it's a 21-year-old country that has raised from the ashes of the genocide in 1994, we are extremely mindful that our speed need to be unconventional to be able to catch up with the global, global development agendas. And that's why, as a nation, we have decided to partner with the IFPRI and the rest of the global for this Compact 2025. Given the, impo the good political will that we are enjoying, our goals in this journey are to keep developing and implementing evidence-based policies to adjust what we are doing the best, but also to scale up existing initiatives that are working. It's also important to keep creating, innovating new strategies. And we are hoping that from this Compact 2025, we are going to be able to achieve that. As implementers in the field, we tend to keep delivering and sometimes we forget to look back and engage into new partnership to be able to shape up the future. We are hoping that the Compact 2025 is going to be instrumental in fine tuning what we are doing and scaling up as fast as possible what we think is working for us. And uh, I thank you all for your kind attention.